Right, Brad, first of all, thanks for joining us on Car TV and congratulations on the deal. Um, it's a new challenge for yourself coming over to the UK and stepping into Super League. Are you excited for what's to come? Yeah, first of all, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting over there. Um, had a good chat with Tony. Um, know a few of the boys over there already, which is going to help. Um, but yeah, really excited and uh, looking forward to ripping in. So those chats that you mentioned with Tony, what, what kind of conversations was it uh, that you were talking about? Was it how you can step into a leadership role or, you know, what Super League is like for yourself or, you know, what kind of things were you talking about? Yeah, definitely, um, you know, being a, a player of experience, um, I'll be looking forward to, to coming over there and being a leader amongst the group. Um, the, the thing that I liked the most from Tony was that, um, you know, he's got a great vision for the club going forward. Um, He's built a really nice roster, a um, couple of good signings as well. So, um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to getting over there, adding my expertise and um, being a good contributor to the team. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of Super League clubs that are in for your signature. Um, and thankfully for us, you've, you've chose the Robins. What was it that swayed you towards Hulk AR? Um, once again, it would be um, like talking to Tony, um, him showing interest in myself. Um, you know, it's, it's always good to have that. Um, and also having um, skids in my ear, um, you know, trying to get me over there as soon as possible. So, um, no, nah, I think, um, yeah, just knowing Skids and Kano, uh, Mossy as well, it's just, um, it's always handy to have um, those connections coming to a new club. Wait, you're going to have those connections coming over. You're looking forward to seeing some of those boys and, you know, like you, you've known Skids for a while now. You play with them at Roosters on the international stage. Um, you're looking forward to getting over and, you know, probably rekindling those relationships, but in the UK now. Yeah, 100%. Um, when I started my career off at Roosters, um, Skids was uh, someone that I looked up to back then. I was a rookie coming to first grade. And it was actually myself, Kane, you know, and uh, Mossy going to first grade together. So, uh, yeah, we do have those good relationships there. And um, I'm looking forward to building on that uh, when I get over there. You mentioned it before, but the uh, recruitment drive that Tony's been putting together, that he's building a strong roster, it's, it's been an impressive one. Some names that you might know from your time in the NRL, Corbin Sims, Albert Vette, just to name a few. Are you looking forward to getting stuck in with those new boys as well? Yeah, it's going to be good. Um, you know, having a couple of boys coming over from, from uh, Australia as well, it's, um, it's, I guess it's always very handy to have um, you know, blokes in the same situation as yourself. So, I'll uh, be looking forward to meeting the boys um, and some good relations with them. And then just finally, you've come from strong pedigree, like I said, you came through at Roosters and you've been in those kind of uh, those very professional, well-run organisations all your career. Um, and like we said at the start, you're in that probably leadership mould now to, at that age, uh, well, part of your career. Um, is one of your things that you're going to take pride in is coaching some of these younger players that we've got because you, you can play across a variety of positions at halfback with there's some really young, exciting talents at the club. Is that going to be something you're going to take pride in? Yeah, that was another thing that Tony did mention was um, that we got uh, you guys have four really good young halves over there at the moment and um, maybe just a little bit of um, I, I guess a little bit of experience, a little bit of leadership um, to help those boys out wherever I can. Um, I'll definitely be putting my hand up and um, teaching them everything that I know and hopefully learning some stuff off them as well. And then just finally again, sorry, it's um, in your career, you've played across all kinds of positions. You've played in halfback for Cook Islands, you've, you've you know, done stints in second row and a lot of your career with the Eels at centre. Um I mentioned to Tony in an interview yesterday that if you were to, if he was to give you a shirt number, where would it be? And he said at the minute, it's undecided because he's so versatile. But, you know, if you were to pick a position or, you know, a favoured one, what do you think it might be? Yeah, uh, that's probably the most asked question I get, um, you know, throughout my career is, is what position do you like the most? Um, I played, I played most of my first grade career at centre. Um, I grew up playing in the halves, so I guess that's probably why it, that sort of comes natural to myself as well. So, look, I'm just wherever I play, I'm not too sure yet. Um, you know, I think once I um, have a few more conversations with Tony, um, get to know the squad and where I fit best, um, 
that's where I'll be. And yeah, I'm just really excited to um, get over there. I've seen that the whole KR fans um, go mad. So <laughs> um, I'm really looking forward to meeting them, um, getting amongst it and um, having a good, really good season. Brilliant, bro. Well, thanks for joining us, mate. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in the new year for the preseason. Cheers, guys. Looking forward to it.